Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within. And today we're going to talk about second March, that is, sorry, second April. Today's blessing. I'm always going back into March, whereas the Indian calendar New Year has started yesterday, first of April. Today is second of April, so it's a new beginning, and we have become reborn. That means as soon as you wake up in the morning, you are in your body. You are born again. You have taken a new life. Whatever has happened in your past, if you have been sinning in the past, you can today itself reform yourself. Instead of carrying the burdens of sins of the past, you can just cleanse yourself right now. Let's explore this in this blessing today. Baba says, "May you finish your burden of sins. Obviously, burden of sins are of the past. By doing subtle checking." and become equal and perfect equal to god father if he is a father then i am his child if you are his child then we have to be equal to him right and perfect he is perfect we have to become like him if you see or hear anything untrue or wasteful even when you go to brahma kumaris if you hear or see anything which is wasteful and untrue people have been gossiping let's say which is which is very rare but let's say somebody is gossiping and you hear something and you hear something about so and so person so and so sister so and so brother and god says do not spread it into the atmosphere that means don't take that impurity and tell others about it why or merge it into your heart that means keep it into your heart that person is like this that person has been a brahma kumar brahma kumari for next for the past 20 30 years and still that behavior still that kind of action still that sinful behavior how can you do that oh my god no don't keep it in your heart look at yourself don't judge others let god be the judge of them because we are not god we are children of god and they are brother sisters we cannot judge brother sisters don't judge for you will be judged in the end then god says to spread wasteful things and also are also small sins to spread negative about others to spread what that person has done what that person does whether it's from your community whether it's from your Uh, your organization whether it's from your business organization whether it's from your own family member if you're spreading negative about that person then it's a sin because the atmosphere will be spoiled those small sins finish experience of flying stage then for you to meditate will be very difficult to connect to god will be very difficult you might go to a temple you might go to a mosque you might go to a church but if you are acting like this spreading going to a church spreading negativity about the father the sisters the brothers over there going to a, a mosque and you're spreading negative about the molvi sab you spreading negative about the senior brothers sisters over there then you are a sinner god then says those small sins finish the experience of the flying stage those who listen to such news accumulate sins so if you are spreading that to others and they are listening to you they are keeping it in their in their heart if they are strong souls they will tell you to keep quiet not talking pure but if they are not strong souls you are spreading negativity you have done a sin if they are keeping in their hearts they are spreading around they are also becoming sinful then god says those who listen to such news accumulate sins and those who relate such news accumulate sins even more therefore check yourself don't if you listen to anything negative don't stand there and listen to it because you are accumulating sin because anything impure is getting into your mind is accumulating sins run away from such people don't stand there don't think of it as bhel podi or as some nice chaat because those stocks can taste like them right they are tasteful they are like a bhel podi they are like a chaat for the soul they could be a nice burger with sauce for the soul but don't be over there don't keep on eating that burger of thoughts of words which you are listening to run away from there don't be hungry for that food negative food for that impure food god says you are sinning you will become obese in your mind you become fat in your mind then god says and then your mind will be heavy you will have heaviness in your mind mood off in your mind right so if you are overeaten you feel very drowsy right if you are overeaten with that negative or those oily thoughts those very spicy thoughts then you will feel burdened then god says those who listen to such news accumulate sins and those who relate such news spread it out to other people also accumulate sins even more therefore check yourself in a subtle way and finish your burden of such sins only then 
will you be able to become perfect and equal to the father you'll be able to meditate you'll become equal to the father because father over there also doesn't judge his children think about it if you have a question how is that possible he is a supreme judge come and find out at brahma kumaris why doesn't he also judge his children he sees his children as pure beings even if you become impure because of these habits so god is also not a judge of our souls he loves us but he becomes the final judge in the end even if we even after telling all this if we don't change our habits then we'll be judged on our own so to learn more about it come to brahma kumaris do the same day course and get into the details of it with the som shanti